Hello friends, in last lecture we discussed about the water requirement and various cropping seasons and crops in Maharashtra and some important definitions. Uh, so today we are going to discuss about the command area. So the command area means it is the area on the downstream side of project to which the water can reach by gravity and uh, there are three types of command areas first is gross command area second one is culturable command area and third one is irrigable command area so let's see the gross command area uh, it is the total area lying between the drainage boundaries which can be irrigated by a canal system and this uh, gross command area is uh, it may include uh, unfertile land uh, unfertile means uh, the land which is uh, unable to produce then uh, uh, it may also include barren land, barren, barren means infertile land, then alkaline soil, local ponds, villages, roads and other area of habitation. And uh, this gross command area can be measured on a topo sheet or by, by doing the actual survey. Second one is culturable command area. Uh, this culturable command area it is that part of gross command area which can be brought under cultivation. Uh, this uh, culturable command area is always less than the gross command area because all the areas uh, will not be under cultivation at the time because approximately about 30 percent of land is uh, generally used for roads mines streams habitations etc and uh, generally uh, the uh, culturable command area is generally taken as point zero point eight times the gross command area uh, if the detailed survey is not available then uh, third one is irrigable command area uh, this uh, area it is that part of culturable command area which can be actually irrigated next next point is relation between duty delta and base period so the relation is a the relation between duty and delta is established by equating the total volume of water required for a crop in a season as below so let uh, capital D be the duty in hectares per meter hectares per cubic then delta uh, it is delta for crops in meter and capital B will be the uh, capital B is the base period of crops in days uh, if one cubic flowing for the base period capital B and irrigates a field of capital D hectares, duty hectares, then the total volume uh, from that it is uh, given by one cubic of flow. It's considered for this. So it is equal to uh, 1 into uh, uh, for one day, uh, we consider the 24 hours. So 1 into 24 into 60 into 60 that becomes uh, calculation in second. 
into b meter cube so after calculating this factor we get the value here 8.64 into 10 raised to 4 into base period in meter cube after that uh, the volume calculated from delta centimeter of depth required in base period uh, it is equal to delta into 10 raised to 4 and uh, for d hectares the volume is given uh, which is equal to 10 raised to 4 into delta into capital D in meter cube so by equating both the equations a and b we get the relation uh, 1 into 24 into 60 into 60 into capital B is equal to 10 raised to 4 into delta into capital D therefore capital D is equal to 8.64 B upon delta or uh, we get the relation between duty delta and base period which is equal to delta is equal to 8.64 b upon d in meters where capital D means duty in hectares per cubic then uh, delta is delta for crop in meter and capital B is equal to base period of crops in days so delta is equal to 8.64 capital B upon D in meters. This is the relation between duty delta and base period. Next point is factors affecting duty. So there are uh, many factors which affects the duty. First one is type of crop. So this uh, duty depends upon the kind of crop. Uh, for example, duty for rice it, it is 550. Uh, while for jawar the duty is equal to 2000. Next is season. So uh, in hot season the evaporation of uh, evaporation is more, and due to this the duty will get reduced as the as uh, the crop requires more water because in hot season the evaporation rate is very high or evaporation is more that's why uh, the crop requires more water and uh, due to this the duty will get reduced third one is rainfall uh, if the rainfall is more then uh, water required for irrigation is less and uh, that's why the duty will become uh, will be more uh, next is soil type so if the soil is free draining free draining soil then the losses are more and uh, therefore uh, redu uh, it reduces the duty uh, while in case of black cotton soil, the black cotton soil holds the water and that's why uh, it uh, increases the duty. Next is methods of irrigation. So if the method of irrigation uh, is not proper, then duty will be less. That is in case of free flooding free flooding irrigation system as the wastage of water is more uh, while it uh, it will be more in case of sprinkler irrigation system uh, because the optimum use of water is possible in case of sprinkler irrigation system next is method of tilling so tilling means uh, it is a preparation and cultivation uh, it it is a cultivation of land for crops uh, if the proper method of tilling is adopted uh, there will be less wastage of water and uh, therefore duty uh, is more next point is canal condition 
uh, the canal should be kept in proper condition by the proper um, maintenance and lining due to this uh, it, it reduces the losses like seepage and leakage uh, which uh, ultimately increases the duty next is mode of assessment the tendency of using more water is checked uh, assessment means valuation so the tendency of using more water it is checked by adopting the volumetric assessment uh, which gives more which gives the more duty uh, than area wise assessment so by adopting the volumetric assessment the, du the duty will uh, duty becomes more than area wise assessment uh, next point is methods to improve duty so the following methods are adopted for improving the duty first is by volumetric assessment uh, so the volumetric assessment means the charges levied for the construction operation and maintenance of irrigation facilities based on water supplied it is called as assessment of irrigation water and uh, in that uh, volumetric assessment method the charges are laid on actual volume of water supply actual volume of water supplied the outlet head and uh, for this uh, purpose the water meters are also installed at the outlets in canal system second is by uh, proper tilling of farms we can improve the duty uh, so if uh, the proper method of tilling is adopted there will be less wastage of water and that's why the duty will more uh, next is by leaching of saline soil so saline means salty uh, so this is the process of removal of excess salt from the soil uh, and uh, by adopting this method uh, we can improve the duty next is by lining canal and maintaining the structure so canal lining means it uh, by uh, it is a impervious layer uh, which protect the bed and side of canal so by providing this canal lining uh, it uh, reduces the loss uh, seepage as well as leakage losses and uh, ultimately uh, it increases the duty next is by adopting the proper method of irrigation uh, so the duty of water is high in case of perennial irrigation system as compared to that in flood irrigation system so by adopting this uh, proper method of irrigation system uh, we can improve the duty and uh, last one is by optimum supply of water uh, we can again improve the duty next point is consumptive consumptive use of water so this uh, consumptive use of water it is the volume of water used by plants for their growth including the water loss in evaporation and transpiration uh, evaporation means it is the process by which the water changes from liquid state to liquid state to gaseous state or vapors in the form of vapors and the uh, transpiration means it is the process of water uh, it is the process of water movement through a plant 
and its evaporation or uh, it is uh, this uh, consumptive use of water is generally expressed either as a depth of water in mm or centimeter or uh, depth per or as a depth per unit area in mm or centimeter per hectare next is next uh, topic is penman method uh, this penman method uh, is used for the calculation of the consumptive use of water and uh, it is given by the formula et is equal to capital h uh, delta h plus 0.27 ea upon delta minus 0.27 uh, where et means it is the evapotrans uh, evapotransmission in mm water per day and ea means evaporation in mm water per day uh, where the evapotransmission it is the sum of evaporation and plant transpiration from the earth's land and uh, ocean surface to the atmosphere i uh, hope you all of you understand this video thank you